Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Today we're going to assemble a simple battery like this one, which is going to allow you to power small devices. And the way that I have it set up, it's uh, 2S. As you can see, you got your main positive and negative. It's a 2S, 2P battery. It's a simple battery for uh, small stuff. I actually use one of these to power my lights when I do videos. But today I'm going to show you how to assemble one using the new DIY battery kit. So when you buy your kits, you're going to get some caps looking like this, one red, one black. You will also get some terminals. Uh, that's what I call them, terminals. It's going to be useful for your main positive and negative. And you will also get all the hardware that you need, plus a aluminum foil tape that is going to be used to make your connections. So the first thing I do is I peel off the aluminum tape and when you do this make sure you can actually place the two terminals in just one piece and that way you can actually save on space and it's going to be easier for you. So just place one of the terminal. The terminals actually have like a really flat side. Try to use that when placing uh, on the aluminum. It's going to look nicer. Once you're done, just rub it off. Make sure everything's pretty good, and you want to make sure the aluminum it's there and stuck, and it's pretty well glued, and it's not gonna be peeling off. After that, take a sharp tool and you know just cut it out, and make sure you can trim off all the excess and make it look nice. Once you're done trimming, uh, take a sharp tool and puncture it through the holes. This is where the screws are going to uh, get past. Uh, and you want to make sure that there's nothing in the middle or in the way of the screw. So it's going to be easier for you at the end. So make sure they look nice and, and you know break everything that might be a problem in the future. Also, you could use the same tool to round off the inner sides of the terminals. Uh, that's where the, there's going to be a main screw on it and you don't want them to be touching the aluminum because you know, you're gonna risk uh, shooting the batteries. So just take your time, make sure it looks nice. Uh, it's a DIY project, but they don't have to look DIY. Once you're done, you're going to end up with something that looks like this. Uh, they look beautiful to me. Once you're done, put it aside and let's start assembly the caps. So you're going to take your red cap or your black bar, the one that you just want to use. Take a screw, go through the cap from the inside, take your terminal, which is going to be placed on the screw, and then just take a knot and just tighten it. Make sure when you're turning the screw, you turn it from the inside on the screwdriver side. Uh, you can actually do both sides, but I prefer this way because that uh, it's not going to allow you to break the aluminum foil. Even though it's pretty strong UL listed aluminum foil, you know, you just want to make sure that everything is good and you're not risking a bad connection in the future. So once you're done, you're going to end up with something that looks like this. Those are your main terminals. And they are the, the, the first thing that you're going to use to make the connections. Go ahead and get some cells and start putting them. Make sure that when you are placing cells, the positive is on the red side of the kit. And your negative is going to be placed towards the black side. That's going to help you in the future when someone looks at the battery, they are, they are going to know which one is positive and which one is negative. So go ahead, place your cell, place your cap, and take the long screw that comes with the kit and go through the middle. Don't worry, you're not going to shorten the battery because that's why we made a design like this. Make sure they don't touch. Take a, a nut, your screwdriver it and assist, uh, use a screwdriver to assist you uh, on placing the knot. Just, just let it grab for a little bit to make sure that you can turn it. Then grab a cup and let it assist you to tighten the battery 
don't go way too strong just tight enough so the cell doesn't lose any type of contact that's it guys this is how easy you can assemble a simple cell to use it with your systems you know like I said small batteries um, this one with some ingenuity with some imagination you can just create one side that could be a series and then on the other side you just cut the middle because it's not you're going to somehow short it and then you can have a 2s series this will be for a just 1s and yeah that's something that you could do and like i said small batteries for small projects i hope you guys like it bye